All right, so I have purchased a Tuxing air compressor. It's the, I forget exactly which model it is. It's this one, the TXED012 with the auto pressure shut off. Um, this is a, um, but, hour meter so I know when to change the oil and filter media. I use it for filling up my scuba tank. I have a hose connection here for the water cooling <clears throat> and then I have a hose in the mechanical room here that I hook up straight to the house water and then slowly trickle about 10 degree water Celsius through it. Um, so this is advertised as a scuba compressor. It can do the pressure just fine up to three, well, 4,500 PSI, but I fill my scuba tanks to um, about 3,000 PSI and does that no problem. Um, but I was having trouble when I'd take my tank out and um, breathe off of it for not too long, go back to the surface, end the dive. And then throughout the day, my throat would feel kind of dry. Um, and it would take about two days to get better. Um, this is the oil I use. It's a breathing air oil for air compressors for breathing for like scuba and firefighters and stuff like that. So I've got the correct oil filled. Um, this hose here is the vent um, to vent the, the, I guess, crank case or oil case. Cause it just, it vents, I don't know, a little bit of oil vapor. So I've got that venting outside to keep the smell down in here. Um, so yeah, the filter media isn't doing the best job. Uh, I'm not sure the air tastes fine, even at depth, but I'm not sure what it is. So I purchased two, two of these from Amazon, from Tuxing, and they are quite a bit bigger. Um, so I'm gonna be putting these in line with what is already here. So this first stage is a cotton filter to collect any oil or water that gets through and then this is a separator. And then you've got your three different filter medias here. You got your activated uh, carbon and then I believe this is like a desiccant and then this is your molecular sieve. Um, and that's what came with these filters. They each came with a set and a hose. Um, but that's what's in this filter. It's about that long. And I guess it's just not doing quite enough. And then I've also got a uh, cotton filter in here just to make sure there's no particles going into the tank. And then I've also, this is what came with the compressor. Not that. This I had to buy separately. It's a yoke adapter for my scuba tank. I run yoke, not din. Um, and then I had to get a, I to do this with one hand. Um, but there's a, a male to male here to connect <clears throat> to this here like that right um, so what I'll be doing so what the plan is is to hook up these both of these in line and they've already got filter media in them <clears throat> and then I have picked up a air testing kit from trace analytics um, 
purchased it myself. And then I'm gonna test the air um, with this setup and then send that back to them and they'll give me a report on how the air is, if it's good, safe air for scuba diving. Um, so I will cut to that once I get that information. Um, but other than that, this has been a good compressor. It just um, isn't good as it is for scuba air. You need extra fil filtration. Um, so I'll leave links for this, the extra filters, and also the trace analytics. But yeah. One other thing is they stick a little piece of paper in here um, that you'll want to pull out uh, just, I guess, to keep any dirt or anything from going in there during shipping. That's what it should look like after the paper comes out. It's just a little, little piece of paper. So for this, I've taken um, the long hose out of this port that comes with the compressor here the long hose um, and I'm going to be fitting it with the shorter hose that comes with the filters um, right here because I don't need a long hose to connect to the filters but I do need a long hose to connect to my tank um, I've still got to figure out a mounting system for these um, they're probably just going to be set on the ground temporarily, but I would like to 3D print something to hold them to the frame of the compressor. Um, that's removable, so I can easily service the filter material in here. Alright, so this is what we got going here. So the compressed air comes out of the compressor heads, down into here, into the separator. This is your uh, overpressure burst disc. Um, this is your um, drain valve that you should drain on every use. And then this is your first stage uh, cotton filter to collect any oil or water or any other contaminants. And then it goes up into here. And then this is charcoal, um, molecular sieve and desiccant, a small, quite small filter. And then this is your pressure gauge hose, that one. And this is usually your fill hose, which it still is, but I have now taken it, plumbed it into this first filter. This first filter is the three that we already talked about. It goes through here, back into this one, same thing, and then out and then cotton filter, and then your adapter to your tank. Um, so we'll give this air a test. Follow the instructions that they give us for this kit, and then send it away, and see how it scores, and yeah. All right, so we've got the 
compressor hooked up to water. It's just draining there. It's using the slightest bit of water. Um, temperature's falling in there. I'm just gonna do a pressure test. So I've got this plugged. I'm gonna pressurize this to about 3000 PSI and just see, make sure everything's sealed before I start filling a tank. We've got a small leak here. Let's take this and just like that, sealed up. We're almost at 3000. All right, so we're at about 3,000. No leaks, not trickling, it's just the water. So we'll let this out. So I got the test results back and it looks like uh, it passed, which is great. Um, you can take a look at all the different uh, test parameters there and what they're supposed to be and they're well within and sometimes very below what they should be, which is great. You can pause the video here if you'd like. So I just want to do a little update here. We're, I don't know, a month or two later after installing the filters. I put about, I guess, 6.4 hours on the compressor and the filter media. And took my tanks out the other day and the air's not as good as it usually is so it's time to change so i'd say about at five hours you should change your filter media if you have two of these um that's the old stuff and then this new stuff um but yeah and here i'll put some links to the reports from the air filter like the the air test um but that came back good and good for scuba diving. So that is very good. Now, if you do this um, modification to use it, to use it for um, scuba diving, um, I would suggest making sure you get your air um, tested before using the compressor for that, just to make sure because you never know there can be variations in filter media and such so i'm not responsible if you you do this and it doesn't work out um but yeah it appears to appears to be a good solution fairly in, inexpensive compressor um and filtering solution for a diver that doesn't uh necessarily um, have a place to fill tanks nearby or in town. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Here's a video of the compressor filling the tank after I uh, did the filter change. I uh, hope this uh, video was informative for someone and I'll see you in the next video.